This is Mzurius bringing you guys another League of Legends commentary, and I'm going to be bringing you guys Game 11 with Jungle Alistar. And of course, to accompany that, I believe we're going to have a Jax in the top lane. Uh, or actually, I'm not certain. All of our champions could probably do well in a solo or duo lane, with the exception of maybe Vigar. We'll have to see on that one. However, uh, they do have an Orianna, which... Uh, is a scary top pick at the moment, just because she has such amazingly long range. Cassiopeia has a really strong early game. Jarvin was a top pick previously, not so much nowadays after he got his nerfs. And uh, they're going to have a Singed as the sort of off tank uh, to couple with Jarvin. And of course Kog'Maw for their ranged AD. If I remember right, someone on my team was really angry that they weren't able to get Kog'Maw, and I believe it was that Vigar player. So we're going to see if he's going to be doing any sort of uh, anti kogma actions. But I'm going to go ahead and ping blue. Lux is sort of pausing for some reason in the middle of the base. I'm going to go ahead and say guard and leash as much as you dare uh, for blue. Guarding, of course, meaning making sure that they don't come after me at level 1. Lux is asking if they change Vigar's walk. No, but they did change dance a few months ago around when they released Leprechaun Vigar. And... Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if they actually are going to go ahead and do a level 1 gank. If I go ahead and look at their... Uh, Cassiopeia has some fairly decent level 1 damage. She does have that clarity, so she could probably get away with it. And Jarvan, I'm not too certain what he starts with for his jungle. Singe isn't really the best, although he does have that fling, which could be scary. Mm, Kog'Maw, it depends on what she gets. Uh, and there's Vigar, of course, doing his fancy dance. And it does look like Jax is going to be going to the top lane with a Lux Caitlyn in the bottom lane. That is fairly interesting uh, just from that. I do believe Lux and Caitlyn are both free week champions. Lux is doing a random little clap and laugh. So there's a the creepy laugh of the day. And uh, we're going to go ahead and I believe Jarvan is going to go ahead and start blue. And, let's see, I'd probably send Orianna or Cassiopeia to the mid lane. Singe is definitely going to be in the top lane versus Jax. We'll see if Singe is going to go ahead and beat Jax this time around. Earlier, I believe I uploaded a game where uh, Singe was beating up Jax in top lane, and that was fairly funny. I'm, of course, going to go ahead and be confident in all chat and say that they have mages and we have Vigar, and thus it is good game, as uh, Kog'Maw has a lot of magic damage, Orianna has magic, Cassiopeia has magic, Singe's magic, and Jarvan's the only person who really isn't. And uh, I messed up on this as, uh, right as they spawned, I hit Q uh, on a reflex. And so I'm still going to get blue, but I'm going to be really, really, really hurt. And so it helped, but at the same time, that could have ended a lot better. Meanwhile, you know, Cascopia is in fact going to be taking that mid lane, so it's going to be an Orianna. Orianna Singe bottom with Kog'Maw in the top lane versus Jax. That's a little bit interesting. Not at all what I expected, but I guess they wanted to put a melee over there uh, in the bottom lane. And I'm just really surprised over here, although we'll see how scary Kog'Maw gets. She is getting a lot of free hits onto Jax there. She would take a few minion hits. Kog'Maw going to go ahead and pop a potion. She did go Cloth Armor and 5 potions versus Jax's straight up Doran's Ring. So... Kog'Maw's going to have much better sustain, and he's going to go ahead and dive and be forced to flash it out. And, oh, that was terrible. However, it does look like the minions are going to go ahead and pick up the kill on Kog'Maw. And so, that's going to be a one-for-one one over there. Although, I believe, of course, Kog'Maw did get first blood, so we'll see if that was worth it. I'm, of course, waiting to see if I can get anything on Cassiopeia. But this next minion wave is going to come in and spot me. Uh, and so, due to my poor planning there, she's going to go ahead and flee but it is going to go ahead and at least relieve some pressure off of Vigar. I don't believe I uh, stole any experience over there. Meanwhile, Oriana and Singed are going to go ahead and pick up Caitlyn. Lux fling for her merry life. And she's going to go ahead and flash over into Dragon, just in case they were chasing. But Singed is going to anticipate this and is going to not get her because of the lovely Vigar stun. Cassiope, of course, throwing in that W to get any vision of the brush. Lux being a little bit safe, but not safe enough, as she did, of course, miss Singed. And, uh, Oriana coming in to get the kill onto Lux with a very quick K. 
command attack. So, I guess she didn't back up far enough. Rihanna anticipating, and so already we're behind. Three kills to one. Towers, of course, even at no tower kills. As this is only about four minutes in the game. Jax is playing it amazingly safe, though. He's got boots, he's got potions, he's got a mana potion, and he has a ward, which I'm guessing he's going to place when he can. I'm, of course, going to swing around and try to get something down onto Kog'Ma. I'm going to go ahead and look at Kog'Ma's health, if she can actually stay out of the fog. There she is. Alright, she does still have this four potions. She's going to go ahead and face check into the brush, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the Q, and this should be a really easy kill onto Kog'Ma. No, 40 HP. She's going to go ahead and make it out just fine. Executed. Meanwhile, Jarvan's going to go ahead and get executed by the lizard buff. So, pity I wasn't in the area, or I could have gone over there and taken red from him while he was dead. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize to Jax for not getting that kill, and just head on with my red buff to the mid lane. As Cassiopeia is once again pushing up, but she looks a little bit suspicious. I did gank last time out of this lane. I might have shown my hand over here. Not certain if you saw me in coming out of the brush, but I'm going to go ahead and back off for the time being. And yep, she's going to go ahead and come up to the lane to put down a W. Alright, here comes the very risky counter jungling. I don't have any vision, but Jarvan, you know, he doesn't have any buffs. He's a level below me. He's going to be having the wolves aggro. So I'm going to go ahead and headbutt a small wolf instead of Jarvan. But I'm going to go ahead and take wolves, and he's going to go ahead and flash away with 126 HP. And uh, now there's going to be a counter gank coming on. From the Kog'Maw and the Cassiopeia, Jack should know that this is a pretty good time to last hit. Kog'Maw's going to go ahead and turn around, and Viker's going to be really amazing with that lovely stun to scare off any would-be chasers. And I... did I leech any... did I leech uh, any experience? I don't... not quite certain. But it doesn't quite matter as I'm just going to go ahead and take my race and go home. However, Singe is going to go ahead and pick up a kill on Lux in the lane, so I'm still losing 1 to 4. Had two almost kills on Jarvan and Kog, but it wasn't really what counts. And Kogma was able to pick up the kill onto Jax at the expense of her own life, so once again, Kogma and Jax trading, and so it's going to be 2 to 5. Uh, Viger, of course, is going to be leaning up. He's don't know if he's going to waste his cage on this or not. That big circle is uh, an area of effect, uh, like a circle, that if you walk onto the edges you will be stunned for a certain duration, for those who don't know. And of course he gets AP every time he last hits with a certain one of his spells, also known as his Q. So then just of course going to go ahead and keep on last hitting the minions, or just pushing overall with his poison. Luck's going to be trying to push him back. Not quite certain how well they're going to do, but they have a decent-ish pushing power to make it so they don't ever get up on the tower. Caitlyn going to use this time to go back, but I'm not certain if that's a little bit too far extended. And here I am going to go ahead and donate Blue to Vigar. I'm going to go ahead and get Madrid's Razors to go ahead and spend something with that cloth armor, since usually I don't spend it till later. And so... Uh, we'll see exactly if I'm able to get anything. I'm going to go ahead and start pinging since it is really low. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start killing the little minions. And looks like Vigar is getting pushed, doesn't really have the opportunity. I'm tanking it. I'm trying to get him to come and take this really quick. Doesn't look like he's interested. I'm going to go ahead and just get whacked around. And I think I'm just going to take it eventually. He does have only 125 health. Now only 60 health. Vagar, two push to care. And so I'm going to go ahead and take it with the headbutt and recall. And uh, that's going to be that. And that's kind of why you don't always donate blues at low levels. But I'm all sad. Even though I did get blue buff, I took way too long to do it. And so uh, Kog'Maw is going to go ahead and get jumped by Jax. There's going to be a little bit of fighting going on here. She's going to go ahead and push him back and use a flash, but Viker's going to come in with his cage and just instantly kill her, and that's going to be the end of Kog'Maw. So now the score is going to go ahead and be 3-2-5, and Cassiopeia is of course missing in the lane, although Caitlyn's able to pick up the kill onto Orianna, uh, Singed getting rooted and just three shots on him all day. 
that's kind of what you don't want to see. I'm expecting a fling to go off onto Caitlyn, and there it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and duck into the brush, so if we chase him, we'd eat his poison. I'm, of course, going to be holding onto the lane, and I'm going to go ahead and back up now that Vygar is back. Uh, go ahead and get a little bit more jungling experience. And things are evening up just a little bit, as the score is now 4 to 5. And Caitlyn's going to go ahead and beg for the laser. She does laser, but it's not going to be able to pick up anybody. And there's a lot of MIAs and no real wards on the map at all for Team Purple. So that is going to be a bit odd. Kog'Maw going to go ahead and hit Jax with a living artillery there. And just going to go ahead and push that wave. I, is that Kog'Maw building AP? I can't quite click on Kog'Maw, so I'm going to go ahead and tab and... No, she isn't. She's just going to go ahead and go for that Blood Razor. Starting off with the Madrid Razor, so I'm about as built as she is. Meanwhile, Cassiopeia is, of course, just going to go ahead and keep Vygar playing it safe, waiting for those Q last hits. Going to go ahead and pick one up right there, and going to go ahead and just cover the lane. Cassiopeia is, of course, missing, so that's always a danger to watch out for. And we haven't really seen Jarvan take any action this game that I've seen in the lanes. So it appears he's just sort of taking his jungle, and uh, I haven't seen any ganks. Maybe I just need better minimum attention. Jack's still sitting over here in the lane. I'm looking to come in here. Caitlyn's able to pick up the kill onto Oriana at the expense of Lux, but then Caitlyn is also able to pick off Singed. And so it is going to be a 2 for 1, tying up the score, 6-6. Six, six. I'm of course going to go ahead and sit in this lane and uh, try to get Kog'Maw to push up. And I'd really like Jax to just back up to this brush too, so he knows that, you know, Jax isn't there. But it looks like Kog'Maw's of course going to go ahead and be suspicious, drop a ward into this top bush. Still doesn't know that I'm here, and I can't really get into headbutt range. If I expose myself here, then she has to be here for me to hit her, and she's not passing that line. Now I could probably come out go ahead and flash Q, headbutt, and she should die from this right now. There goes the kill. I'm going to go ahead and run to where Kog'Maw is, just so I can get that true damage and pop my ultimate right afterwards instead of right before. And so that was a bit of a silly play by me, and I don't even think the damage reduction reduces Kog'Maw's death, as, like I said, that explosion does do true damage. But nonetheless, I felt very foolish for doing that uh, on both counts. And I don't have a blue buff, so... I have enough for the headbutt and the pulverize right now, but Cassiopeia is missing. Caitlyn's going to go ahead and recall. Lex is sort of waiting to see what else is going on, dropping a ward over the wall. And Cassiopeia has no mana, so she's going to be already very, very scared. And I'm not too certain. I'm going to go ahead and try to come around to this section right here to see if I can punt her into Vygar. Uh, but I think she's probably going to go ahead and recall, and you can see... I'm thinking about going to go ahead and taking his wolves. I don't really think his blue buff is there, since we had already given blue buff. And sure enough, it's not, especially since we haven't seen Jarvan. But I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, the wolves are missing. So now I'm going to go ahead and come up to the mid lane. And just going to be looking to just drop this down onto her. And sure enough, Jarvan looking to get in a gank onto mid. Uh, Viger's going to go ahead and flash out. I'm going to go ahead and pop up a Q, but the Demacia going off. So I get ganked, and uh, I don't get ganked, but I go ahead and get picked up on that attack. Vygar, however, is able to ultimate the Cassiopeia, and via double flash, Garvin is going to go ahead and get away. So that is going to go ahead and be another one-for-one -one trade off. although Vygar is going to go ahead and have to recall, so he's not going to get too much of an advantage. Uh, Caitlyn's, of course, asking for me to gank the bottom lane, so I'm going to go ahead and visit down there when I can. Lux is going to go ahead and recall, as I've mostly just been in the top and mid lanes. And so, sort of waiting for that there. Oriana, of course, poking at Caitlyn, but there's no tower here, so she's going to go ahead and have to back up. Looks like they're going to go ahead and set up lines behind the various minions. And I don't know, that was a little bit risky there. And I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom lane, and then we can probably do dragon. Provided, of course, Caitlyn doesn't die. Lux, of course, wants blue, so I'm going to go ahead and get her blue buff. As uh, Viger's not too interested, but Lux is another mage that we have. Syndra and Kogma are heavily pushing this lane. Viger's going to come up to uh, do assistance he can. 
he's going to go ahead and hopefully hit Kog'Maw, but Kog'Maw is going to go ahead and recall, so that Meteor is going to recall, and then flash, so that Meteor is going to miss. Uh, but Kog'Maw does in fact go ahead and die nonetheless. Vigar eating a bunch of singed poison, not certain if that's going to be able to do anything. And uh, while I was looking away, Caitlyn did get picked off by a Jarvan gank onto her from the jungle, but he has really low health and mana, and he probably is going to go ahead and pick off right here with the Lux AoE detonation and the headbutt and passive of Ollie Star's Trample. Meanwhile, Singed and Cassiopeia are sieging the top outer tower, keeping the minions down uh, before their minion comes into play. But uh, I'd really watch out for this tribush since that person went MIA. Kogma, of course, is going to go ahead and uh, not Kogma, Moriana going to be covering this lane. She's going to go ahead and actually eat a laser, and she really wants to uh, get the kill onto Moriana, but with Kogma there and no minions, I don't really see this quite happening, especially with MIAs. I've of course got this ward here to see if anyone's coming up. And I'm just hoping that Kog'Maw, sure enough, does come in here. Gonna go ahead and headbutt her. Throw down a headbutt. And so gonna go ahead and get them fairly low. But Jarvan shows his face, and so we're not gonna be able to get a double kill here. I'm gonna go ahead and flash out, and we will be able to walk away. Especially with that Lux root. And so that is gonna be a small trade off. Me with the red buff, and Lux with the blue buff. And no one's really gonna die, although Singe really, really, really wants to kill me. I'm just gonna go ahead and headbutt him away. He's still got his ultimate running. He did have Ghost on. I'm going to go ahead and get flung, even though I was in the Fog of War. And I'm just going to go ahead and start fling to Jax. I'm probably not going to make it. I need to get a Q off. And I'm just going to go ahead and headbutt, turning around like a dummy. And no, why am I chasing Singed? And so I'm going to go ahead and get picked off here as I knock up Jarvan. Um, and this could be bad. Cassiope is going to go ahead and land her ultimate there. They need to back off. This is not a good trade. Uh, we did go ahead and do two, one for three. So that is not good at all. Uh, Caitlyn able to land her trap. Uh, not her trap, her 90 caliber net. So she's going to go ahead and live. Viker coming out of nowhere going to go ahead and just instantly destroy Cassiopeia. So that is going to go ahead and make it a three for two, which is a little bit better. And we are going to go ahead and stay ahead at 13 kills to 11, plus the 750 global gold from uh, destroying the turret, or I guess Team Gold. Uh, meanwhile, the top lane for blue is getting pushed up against this tower. It's going to need to get picked up in the next five minutes or so. Jarvan is going to go ahead and get spotted, uh, about to move in. He's not really going to even bother using his poke, and uh, just going to go ahead and back off and do a formal push with Singed, who is still running off of a Cattle the Protector. So that is a little bit interesting. And Vigar is done catching them, but not really able to do too much with it. Jax is going to go ahead and farm up that top lane. Getting himself more items is, of course, always good. And he is going to be going for the Gunso's Rage Blade first. Not sure how I feel about that. It does definitely do decent damage if you can sustain yourself. And Lux, instead of face checking in, is oh no, she's going to get caught heavily out of position, expecting to drop an ultimate right here. And sure enough, she is going to go ahead and get picked off. I don't really know quite what was going on. The trap was set a little bit before she chased the Morphina Ball was kind of obvious, but she's going to go ahead and get picked off. And at the same time, I don't believe anyone's done Dragon. Uh, they haven't really been able to take down any towers at all yet. I'm, of course, just going to go ahead and tank. Um, I don't really have the damage to do anything to them, though, so I'm just sort of running in there and soaking up cooldowns and mana, although that Oriana does have a blue buff, so that's not quite as effective. And Tiger is able to instantly destroy Oriana, but Kogma and Cassiopeia are able to return the favor, so I'm not really able to do too much there. And the score is going to go ahead and be 14-2-13. Singe is going to go ahead and push this minion wave to the tower. This could be the first tower of the game, but it is in close competition. I am really, really low. Down to 94 health after I pop that heal in the 20s before that. And with those W's from Kog'Maw, she needs to be really careful here. Um, that she doesn't quite get sniped by Kog'Maw. No, Singed has gone missing as uh, Lux goes in to cover the lane. Recall. And I'm not certain if Jax just flushed and leap striked there, but he was able to pick up Cassiopeia, so the score is going to be 15 to 13. And he's going to go ahead and stay in the fight to push off this tower. 
Uh, not sure I feel about that, however. Jarvin gets caught out of position, and he's going to go ahead and get taken down. Lux doing fairly well with that double buff. She even has a mana potion, although she didn't quite need it, and that blasting. I believe she's rushing a Void Staff, possibly? Um, she already has Sword Shoot, so she's just getting more and more penetration. She only has 101 AP. Uh, Oriana has 116, though. Mm, Viger's at 138, but he does have that DFG. And while that's all going on, Kogma is able to pick off Jax while he was pushing that tower. And Kogma is the person who's going to be holding blue buff for the duration of this, and yes, she is going to go ahead and rush that Hydra Tracer. Uh, that recurve bow confirms it. Sin is just doing what he can to farm up some more, get those last hits. Dragon's getting pinged. As I don't believe we are going to be able to pick up this tower. So, yep, we're going to go ahead and back off. And Singe is going to go ahead and keep on pushing. So it looks like Viger is going to be left to hold on to the fort. Uh, Jarvan trying to see where we all went. He's not able to pick it up with that flag. And instead of going to go ahead and do dragon, we got to go ahead and push off this minion wave. And this could be fairly bad. It looks like they're going to go ahead and set up for their own dragon. Kogma coming in with the elements of Madrid's Blood Razors. Uh, we just have that Razor. Jarvan has a Wriggles. And so we don't really have the time to stop this as they do have fairly strong magic damage coming onto that dragon. Uh, but Cassiopeia was actually trying to trap me while they do dragon. They weren't even able to do dragon. Caitlyn and Viger are catching German out of position. I believe Viger just did use his ultimate there. Cassiopeia using her ultimate to slow them down and get them out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and knock them out of the fray. And I'm going to go ahead and go down. But Cassiopeia is going to go ahead and get taken out as well. Caitlyn's forced to flash out away from Singe, but at the same time, Kogma is going to go ahead and get picked off. And this true damage could kill Vygar. Nope, not going to quite happen. However, Singe is chasing. We need a good cage from Vygar that's not coming. The tower is still up with a fraction of HP, and it looks like Lux is able to pick up the kill. Oh, Vygar is actually going to be able to last hit with his Q onto Singe. And so, that is going to be fairly interesting there. Uh, we did go ahead and come out on top for sure. Only me and Caitlyn died and they lost. Kogma singed. I, don't, I think Jarvan died. Maybe not. Cassiopeia. I'm going to have to go back and relook at that if I want to get an accurate view of that. Lux is going to go ahead and ping Dragon and laugh that they didn't get Dragon um, while they were doing all of that. So... That's Lux being a maniac, and Cassiopeia is going to go ahead, not Cassiopeia, and Oriana is going to go ahead and get a free tower, and she's even going to go ahead and push up. She is caught in this whole try, but it looks like Oriana is going to go ahead and be able to pick off Lux, but Caitlyn Snipe is going to go ahead and pick her off without me really doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and ping Dragon since it does seem safe to do so, as uh, we do have the ranged AD carry with me who does have a Bloodthirster, a pickaxe. I'm going to go ahead and get blue first, though. And uh, I do have the Wriggles Lantern. Vygar and is going to go ahead and be laning against Sinch and Kogma. And we do have wards to sort of telegraph if they are coming in here. We've got a ward over here placed by someone. My ward right here just died. Uh, but we were able to see if they were approaching that way. And since we did just pair off, pick off Oriana from over here, we didn't really expect anyone to be coming in here. I'm trying to steal aggro from Dragon, but that's not quite going to happen. But we are going to go ahead and nonetheless pick up the kill with almost no damage to Caitlyn. She does have that Bloodthirster and two Doran's Blades, uh, which does give her a fairly high amount of life steal. Singe getting caught recalling, but he is going to go ahead and get out despite getting shot. Uh, it was one second too late. Kog'Maw going to go ahead and get spotted and then uh, go and retreat, but Elite and Root going to go ahead and kill Cassiopeia. Not certain if the laser was needed, and I believe Jax is going to go ahead and say that in a bit. But now there's going to be two champions defending the tower, and I do have my ultimate, so we could probably dive here, but it looks like we're not really going to want to chance that. Viger coming in from the side with a Meteor, and the Surrender Boat for Blue is going to go ahead and fail 1-4. to four. And we are up currently two towers, a dragon, and six kills, so things are looking pretty good here. Uh, I'm going to turn on my ultimate way too late, and it looks like we're all just going to go ahead and get picked off. I could die from the poison, and yep, that is going to be the case, and she's going to escape Scott free, but Kogwan did in fact die. Viger could possibly kill Singed here, and uh, Singed does have 86 magic resist though, plus 56 magic resistance, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and get away with 
with that, so it is going to be a 1 for 2, I believe. So, I'm going to trade off there. Left trying to snipe poor Singed with all of her might, but it's not going to be able to happen. And so, she's going to go ahead and fall back so she doesn't get picked off. And the onslaught on this mid tower is going to continue. And uh, we do have a can rider in this wave, so it is a very strong possibility, but. Cassio, we're going to go ahead and throw our ultimate, but we're going to go ahead and get the tower as Vygar did come in there with the cage to stop any further harassment, and Jax could be in trouble right here. He needs to get out of there, and ooh, barely dodging that living artillery and that other one. And it looks like he is going to go ahead and be okay. Meanwhile, Vygar was able to kill Cassiopeia down here in the jungle, but he is going to go ahead and get chased uh, for camping in that jungle, and there he is getting picked off, so we're not really able to save him. Uh, but Viger is, of course, going to take that second death, and so he's going to be 9-2. Jax is 6-5. I'm, of course, getting chased by Singed. Kate, of course, getting out of position. She's going to go ahead and flash away, and that'll be okay. But everyone's even on positive on my team, except for me. And likewise, Oriana's positive. But no one else really is. Cassiopeia herself is only 1-6, so I bet she is feeling bad at the moment about herself. Uh, but she is trying. They're doing a fairly decent job. It is currently 26 to 21, so they are only 5 kills behind. Jax is coming around, possibly looking to get a leap onto Kog'Maw, but it's not quite safe, although... He's going to go ahead and run in here, leaping and igniting Kog'Maw. I don't know if that'll be enough, though. I'm going to go ahead and headbutt the Singed away. Uh, and Dragon is going to go ahead and initiate, so I'm going to go ahead and pop him up so he can't quite flag out and turn on my ultimate, even though I'm at lowish health. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on trying to kill us. That Lux Laser is doing wonders, and I'm going to go ahead and get picked off. But that Tiger Meteor just utterly destroying, he's able to kill Cassiopeia, and Trevor is able to get killed, and so I go ahead and die uh, while we get an ace. And so uh, that's tanking for you. Uh, as well as just really good area damage, uh, various lines, and we're going to go ahead and continue to push this inner tower. Meanwhile, the minions are putting a hefty... Uh, push onto this tower, and there will be a few minions pushing onto that tower. But we're going to go ahead and push up onto the inhibitor tower, buying time for the minions, and I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to go ahead and rush a Triforce for this game, since I can't quite see why not. Colonel Jax gets hit by living artillery, and he really dies there. He gets down to 50 health or so. Uh, ultimate's going off, and it looks like they're going to go ahead and back off. Jax probably could have gotten out of there, but it was very questionable. He's going to go ahead and try to leap away, and we'll see if he actually does escape. Meanwhile, I'm of course coming in, and it looks like I won't have to intervene at all. So that'll be that. And if we actually look at the levels, I'm heavily underleveled. You can see 15, 14, 16, 15. I'm only level 11 since I've been jungling, not laning, and otherwise being involved in team fights. So that could be hurting me. At the same time, we are kind of about leveling them overall, so I'm only a little bit behind. As Singed is only at level 12, Cassiopeia is at 12, Orion and Jarvan are at 13, and Kog'Maw, of course, is at 14, since she is landing like a boss. Meanwhile, if we look at the last hits, Caitlyn's leading at 131, second is Vygar with 105, and third is going to go ahead and be Orion with 96, with Jack close behind with 91, so it looks like we're beating them in, in last hits for the most part. Even I, in the jungle, am currently at 54. And the only person who's tied, almost tied from the last, is Cassiopeia, who does only have 55 last hits. I'm, of course, going to go ahead and take this opportunity to start taking their jungle. It doesn't look like the portraits level up with time, so while they do get more healthy, it's not uh, indicated by a level number. At the same time, though, Rihanna is able to pick up Vygar heavily out of position. Lux is going to go ahead and just take a bunch of free auto attacks from Jarvan, but not really going to be doing anything to her as he is building tanky and his only damage item is Riggles. And so they probably are going to go ahead and get this tower as it is 5 to 2, but with that heavy damage it looks like that might not be the case. So I'm just going to go ahead and tank it. I go ahead and turn on my ultimate way too late. I'm going to go ahead and have to flash out and they will in fact get this tower, although Jax did jump in the fray and was able to give Jarvan 
trying to get a kill onto Singe, not going to happen. Meanwhile, Caitlyn's going to go ahead and toss an ultimate onto Cassiopeia and pick her off. That was a really high damage hit. Jax chasing Singe, and he is going to get away, and Jax is going to go ahead and get picked off. That is why you don't chase Singe. But Lux is going to go ahead and root Cogmob, but nothing's going to happen from that. A little bit of suspense there. And of course, blue minions are, of course, going to keep on pushing this tower. And so, uh, blue team in a fairly commanding position here. The next dragon is up, but it hasn't been done yet, so is Baron. We could expect to see either of those in the near future. And it looks like Caitlyn's going to go ahead and try to push down this inhibitor. And we'll see if they do go ahead and get it. Now, their entire team is up. She is out of position, badly expecting it. No, no, Jarvan. Demacian ultimate. I'm guessing it was on cooldown, as she would be a very dead Caitlyn at the moment, but I'm guessing he's saving it. And it looks like we are going to go ahead and do Dragon while they go ahead and push up. And he did go ahead and step on your little trap, so that's what it's called. And I'm going to go ahead and just auto attack away, and we should get this fairly quickly. Meanwhile, the mid lane is getting pushed by Singed and Orianna. Vigar was looking to uh, push this top lane. Uh, or possibly kill Cogmise. He does see that she's alone, so we could be seeing that anytime soon. But he's a little bit out of position. He does go ahead and turn on his ghost a little bit early. Just go ahead and pops the stun, the ultimate, and she goes down. Vigar sitting at 478 AP, and that is with a Hextech revolver, so he is healing off a little bit of his damage. You know, Oriana getting caught up position, and she's going to go ahead and get sniped almost a shield. Makes it so she lives through the snipe, and so I go ahead and kill her with an auto attack. And that will be that. And so they're losing two kills for nothing. Uh, Cassiopeia, of course, trying to hold off this assault. Singed coming in from the side. He's not going to get rooted, so he's going to be okay. Jack's chasing Singed and eats a Cassiopeia ultimate to the face, but she's not really hurting that much. As, uh, she did a rush that lot of ages first. And we're going to go ahead and just pick up the inhibitor. And leave. I suppose that's what I'd be doing right now, but nope, we're gonna go ahead and continue our assault. Look for some kills possibly. Jack is gonna go ahead and eat the Demacia. Cassiopeia barely living. Jack's finally getting picked off. And it looks like it's gonna be a one for one trade. But we don't have minions at the tower. We could possibly get a tower by her using his ultimate onto Jarvan, picking up the kill on him. And Probably should back off there. And yep, we're gonna find an the base, although after eating that meteor, it looks like Oriana's having second. Nope, she's just gonna go ahead and stick around anyways. Quirky and Oriana are both really low. Our team's getting fairly greedy. The main thing to watch out for is not just set how far as our health bars are the damage we should do. Uh, but our mana pools as I'm low, Caitlyn's getting somewhat low, Vigar's regenerating mana fairly fast, so he'll be okay. Uh, I'm not quite certain how much mana Lux will need to sustain, but in any case, we're going to go ahead and back out. We're going to look to take their red buff. It's not going to be there, so we're going to go ahead and recall. Nope. We're going to go ahead and switch the offensive over to this bottom tower. Uh, Cassie will be going to go ahead and drop a W in there like she knows I'm in here. And so I'm going to go ahead and go to this bush, since clearly this bush is really better than the other one. Caitlyn's going to go ahead and throw down her ultimate onto Cassiopeia just for the damage, and Cassiopeia is of course going to be at half health. And I'm going to go ahead and look to come in with a headbutt, but I'm going to go ahead and get caught out of position, flung, poisoned, no ultimate. The ultimate did just now come off the cooldown, and so this is going to be a round 14 purple. Caitlyn going to go down in just a second. She is ignited. She's going to go ahead and get picked off. Lux is fleeing. I'm going to go ahead and tell Jax to push in the bottom lane. We do have super minions pushing up. Uh, so they will be at the Nexus Towers very shortly. And it looks like Vigar is just going to go ahead and sit here looking for someone to pick off. And I don't think he'll be able to pick off Singe right here. No, he won't. So there goes poor Vigar's trap. Not quite working. And the enemy team is of course just going to go ahead and take on these super minions. Or at least three of them are. While Jax pushes up here. And I think he... Yeah, we'll see exactly who's going to do that. He's going to go ahead and leap Cassiopeia. And then Flea moving really slow, gonna be forced to flash out. Jarvis gonna go ahead and pop his Demacia, not certain if that's the best idea to duel Jax. As said, Jarvin's built tank, Jax is able to kill Cassiopeia with his burst, as he does have that gun blade, a rage blade, and a sheen. And it's like he's going to get a Lich Bane next, but 
he is not going to be able to pick up Kogma, and so it's just going to be a Cassiopeia. And of course, I go ahead and pick up Triforce, so I jungled and I got Triforce, so perhaps I am now on Freak's level, as that is, of course, a pun. And uh, Oriana, go ahead and pick off that last super minion. She is going to be fairly close to our tower, and able to at least retreat there if need be. I she didn't pop her ult there, I guess she's saving it for the displacement, but I believe she could have gotten all three of us in it. I could be wrong. Cogma, of course, coming in to help the defend Vygar, dropping down a cage, and so that is going to be on cooldown. Let's see if that's going to be affected by anything. Killing me while is way up in the top lane, so it is going to go ahead and be, I believe, a 5v3. We should back up. This isn't really the safest thing, but we are going to go ahead and continue to siege them. I'm going to go ahead and headbutt Jarvan, and he's going to go ahead and flash. So now Jarvan has no flash. I'm going to get on my ult and heal up, run in, do them, but I'm expecting to die right here. But Jarvan just tanking all three of them. But at the same time, Cassiopeia got picked off, and it looks like Sinch is able to not adequately zone them off, as Vygar was able to just destroy Kogma. Lux throwing down her root, hoping to get things done there. And Caitlyn gonna win through on her ultimate at Jarvan, but he's just so tanky with all that HP and armor that he's gonna be just fine. Oriana dropping off, but meanwhile Singed is now caught out of position as four members of our team are around him, and so he's gonna go ahead and just die. Uh, and I should be responding in about 10 seconds. Baron's getting pinged to go ahead and do that. Lux, meanwhile, has been snowballing, if you didn't notice. She is now up to 17 stacks ever since. Uh, the whole team started snowballing in general, outside of me, since I have been the person soaking most of the damage there, uh, despite not really building too many tank items uh, at all, if Triforce counts as a tank item because it gives HP, and if Wriggles counts as a tank item because it gives armor, I'm going to go ahead and buy a Ruby Crystal and uh, get a little bit more HP to survive a little bit longer. Jax is going to be distracting with a push on the bottom lane while we do go off towards Baron. We'll see if they're going to bite the bait. It looks like Kog'Maw is going to go ahead and push, but we're going to go ahead and just keep on attacking, get that tower. Jax probably should keep on chasing, but he's able to do amazing damage to Cassiopeia, but he does get exhausted. His ultimate is up, and he's able to pick off Cassiopeia. Looks like he's able to pick off Kog'Maw, and he is going to go ahead and get a double kill. And uh, he is going to go ahead and die to Oriana, though. Meanwhile, at the same time, Purple Team is, of course, going to go ahead and get Baron, so Jax isn't going to be having the Baron buff. But we did go ahead and secure uh, 1,200 global gold. Uh, so that's going to be even more gold in our favor. And Jarvan can go ahead and get caught in the jungle. Not certain if he's going to be able to escape. Pretty sure he's going to just toss and go over here. I'm going to go ahead and flash over the wall. But I have nothing on cooldown, so... Lux is going to go ahead and catch him out of position, but I'm going to go ahead and headbutt, and he's going to go ahead and go Demacia on me. I've got to stay on the edge of this arena just to uh, avoid the tower damage, and looks like Jarvan... Kog'Maw, Orianna, and Jarvan did go ahead and die at the expense of me and Jack, so I had to actually tap to see exactly who had died, so I'm just... We're just killing people all over the place at this point in time. We are up 47 to 31. I think their play is just broken down ever since they started losing. Vyger is throwing down his ultimate onto Kog'Maw. Going to go ahead and pick up the kill on that. Meanwhile, the Nexus Towers look like they are going to be able to defend another push for the time being. Although, looks like Caitlyn is going to go ahead and just attack away, although she's taking some damage there. Uh, with those with those tower hits. You know, we still do have Baron buff on three champions. My guys can go ahead and push this inhibitor tower uh, while we get both Nexus towers, and so things are looking extremely grim. Uh, there, of course, can go ahead and be surprised that I'm calling myself a tank. So I'm going to go ahead and list what Alistair's ultimate does and uh, level CC. But looks like Jarvan's in trouble. He is going to go ahead and get picked off, despite Oriana using her ultimate there. Vygar is going to go ahead and zone with Caitlyn, and they are going to go ahead and finish off the Nexus, and that will be a good game. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It uh, was enjoyable for me, obviously, because I got to fulfill my role of tanking. We were able to do ganks and all of that, so I thought it was a good game. Uh, but if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, and this is Observance, signing out.